My man, Calvin. It's good, it's good. I can't call him, man, I might spoil it. Look, um, I know, you know, the relationship with you and your mom is different, right? Now, how would you describe how you feel and knowing, you know, the relationship that you have with raising is the, it goes back as far back as it does, right? Right. And knowing that he's getting in there with your mom, it's like, what? Damn, you had to say it like that? I mean, at the end of the day, he's on it a little bit. Pump on the brakes. I mean, it's like, but... I mean we're talking LeBron James and Delonte West over here as far as like the situation at hand. But, you know, from your standpoint, like, how do you Dang. deal with it? I mean, I'm trying not to think about it and you bring it up like that. I mean, Delonte West, LeBron, I mean, God damn. I mean, but it's, it's, it's not, it's not. Listen, I, I, all right, I'm trying to get that image out my head right now, but. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, but to answer your question, I mean, you only have one mom, right? So I, I have to love my mom regardless of what we've been through. You know, whether I hate her at certain times, I still love her, you know, because that's my mom. But man, Ray's got long history. You know, at the end of the day, he's a grown man. I wish he would have chose somewhere else, but he chose right in my front yard. But uh, yeah, it's still a un undis undiscussed, unresolved issue, I'll right. say. An unsaid thing? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, the relationship with your mom is, is complex to say the least, right? Right. Now, we know uh, what you had to deal with, with the molestation and, and uh, sexual abuse at the hands of your uncle. But how did you view your mom while all this was happening? Whew. Um, I, let me say it like this. If you're there, a part of the crime, you're what? You're an accomplice. Or an accessory. So my whole thinking with it is like, you knew about it. I came to you about it, you know, as my refuge and there was no savior. So I kind of fought her as guilty as I fought him. Well, you kind of displayed that at t uh, different times. Like when you finally opened up to him and let her know, like, how did you feel? Like after it, was there like a sense of relief? Like, you know, a weight off your shoulders kind of? Relief? No, nah, because the burden was still there. You know, I'm still dealing with them complications and, and unresolved issues. And, you know, uh, it's, mm. no, nah, it's still there, man. But that's my mom at the day. Right. So, you know, with your uncle being killed, um, how would you say that you felt when you heard about it? Do you wish that you were the one behind it? I had no feelings, and I won't answer that second question. Smart man, I never mistook you as not being smart. Uh, speaking of, like, what is, you know, you talk about investing, like, what are some of the advice that you can give out to like a young brother coming up because you made a couple moves around the city. Mm -hmm. You know, like what's a, what's a couple of ideas that you probably have pass over? One is, you know, find your niche, find what you do and, and invest in it. Don't be afraid to sacrifice. Don't be afraid to, to go against the odds and just make your decision and set your intention and run for it, man. You know, like I said, I've been through a lot of my life and through those obstacles, it formed me as a man, it formed my character and that was me being isolated at times and having to deal with issues I've been through. So it helped me to develop in a cave. So as I came out, I was able to make them decisions and be like, the hell with what you think. Mm -hmm. So that's what I tell that young man. Think the hell with what other people think, just do you. Do you. Now there have been instances of you doing you. Mm -hmm. uh, that being with someone else. Don't know what you're getting at. Hey, I'm just trying to say, man, Sharma. <laughs> You know, see, look at that reaction, man. She gets something up out of you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are your views on like traditional marriage? I, I don't, honestly. I mean, it, it's nothing against the beautiful woman you just mentioned in Sharma, but I, I never saw a traditional marriage or relationship, so I don't know what that is. Do you see a future with it? Future in what way? Marriage. I can't do something I've never seen. Wouldn't you think she's worth it? Yeah, but it's one of them complicated things. Like, why why do we have to put a title on? I mean, you've been with her long enough. I mean, she's 
met all the requirements in five years that you would want from a woman, right? Look, all this time and title and all that, man, you sound like her. You an advocate? You all right? right? I, I, I'm just asking the question. No, no, I'm trying to make sure. No, I'm just saying, like, uh, no, nah, that's good. You know, we're doing our thing. I mean, like any relationship, it has its good times and its bad times. But yeah, man, that's a, yeah. it is what it is. You know we ain't even answer, right? Yeah. Yeah, we ain't nowhere near an answer when it comes to that. Hey, look. Shama's a good chick. You know, I've seen woman. How she moves. Not chick. Hey woman. man, there you go. Woman, you go. This, this, that, that, that. Same way you can step up. I'm not gonna put the pressure. I'm about to take it there. Same way you can step up uh -huh. and, and defend her honor. You know, give her that extra. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, you spent that much time with the woman. Um, what's it gonna hurt? Be good. I mean, unless she tell me otherwise. All I know right now, we good. Can't, you know, can't be bad at that. Um, I see that uh, there's a, a situation or scenario in your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Just think, speaking hypothetically, fiction. Let's just say there was a plot or a chance to, like, you know, put your uncle under the, under the, under the earth, we had, as we like to say, right? Mm -hmm. Would you be up for it? Fictionally speaking. Fictionally speaking. All right, that's on record, right? Fictionally speaking. All right. It, you're damn right. Mm. I'd probably be the first one in line. Probably have all the tools already lined up and everything. So, mm. does that answer your question? It gets to the point. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm Matt Kyrie, man. Thanks for following through the Frostbite Corner. I am one Jack Frost. Appreciate you, bro.